Hello, good afternoon everyone. I'm back, Luther FM, with another episode of PW9 Fight Club Pro. Um, we left us off last, we were trying to get into our groove, figure out who the best workers are. And we come across a young man called Luke Jacobs, who obviously in real life is very well known to everybody. Um, but on the when I previously um, had him in Fight Club Pro on the TW 2020 save, um, the database didn't value him very well. So I didn't think much of him. And then um, in this database, he seems to be rated a lot better. He's probably in real life, probably one of the top five British indie workers out there at the moment, if not the top three. So he is definitely up there with Leon Slater and Michael Oku as being the best workers in the UK. And I think he originally started at Fight Club Pro. I think I remember watching him in a uh, match before the show started type of thing and I think he was pretty decent then so I haven't seen him much I know he's come along nicely in real life so hopefully in the game we'll have him up there and we'll see how he gets on anyway I'm going to keep the intro short and sweet and I'll be back in a sec with the first show of the episode right there we are first show of the week I'm just going to do the usual star works Booking, I'm not bothering with that. I wish we could just automatically stop that coming up. It's really annoying. Uh, training, training. Uh, session, Ma Ma Martina lifted locker room and she organized and won a video game tournament. Uh, Flash Morgan Webster has come and demanded a major increase. Yeah, that's fine. Flash Morgan Webster and Millie McKenzie apparently butted heads backstage and both are furious with the other. Dean A.S. got into an argument with Margaret backstage, annoyed by the morality of the team building. Uh, not too bad considering. Um, usually last time when we had Trent in charge, it was uh, it was it didn't go down well. Now I've only just done it and I still and I can't actually remember Dean and how oh, I can't remember. It was Millie McKenzie and somebody, but right, that's that done. Let's book the show. We're gonna book the show. We're gonna have the uh, we're gonna have Flash Morgan Webster kicking off the show against Luke Jacobs. So Luke Jacobs will end up getting more ring time. At the moment, he's not gonna get a push for say. Unless the AI decides to push him. Um, he's just going to get in the mix. And eventually he will get a push. So at the moment I just want to build him up slowly. I don't want to just throw him straight in there. There we go. Like so that's the angle done after the match. And then we'll do Mark Andrew. Versus Kenny Williams. So um, Dean Ayers, former FWA, uh, I think he was former manager in FWA, former something, I can't remember if he's a commentator or something, I can't remember. Anyway, um, he's now managing Kenny Williams, Joseph Connors, and Luke Jacobs. So eventually I will form a stable. I just want to see first if he has good chemistry with these three wrestlers. Before I start doing it, uh, we'll leave it open, Matt. Okay. Do the usual angle afterwards. I wish they would. I hate this new style. I know I keep going on about it, but it just, it just takes so long compared to what it was before. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Right, let's do tag team match now. A division tag team of the Life Plus Brothers versus More Than the Hype, POD, Starbucks, Team Screw Indie Wrestling, The Last Hard Man, Marauder. So, more than the hype. Uh, 
Are they the tag champions? No, they're not, are they? No. Pick up one. And then we'll do women's match. Four way singles women's match. Millie in there. Uh, session Mark Martina. Yes, sir. And then probably. Uh, Rio. Let's see, get 10 minutes, I think. Yeah. Who's the champion? See, I can't remember off. Who the champions are. Right, Millie is the champion. We will put a title on the line. Leave it blank, we'll let the AO decide. Right then, we're off to the races. So, first match of the show ends with Flash Morgan Webster defeating Luke Jacobs for the 450. The second one got 54, the match got 54 as well, so not too bad. Uh, Luke Jacobs with a 50. Flash Morgan Webster with a 57. Nothing to tell me whether uh, Luke Jacobs and Dean Ayers are a good combination. They're not, there's nothing to say they're a bad combination either. So, so the next segment, and we've got 35. Mark Andrews and Kenny Williams have uh, pretty good chemistry, so that's a good start for the segment. Uh, Mark Andrews beat Kenny Williams for the Shooting Star Press. Um, segment got 53. The wrestling rating got 52. I think I might put Kenny Williams and Luke Jacobs as a tag team. I reckon that'd be a pretty good tag team and they can go against Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster, I think. Uh, Mark, Mark Andrews was the bare one out of the two with 59, but not too bad by Kenny Williams either. 26 for the angle afterwards. And then the Lycos gym defeated more than the hype when he'd like us to submit Nathan Martin. Seven got 44, wrestling got 45. Uh, Kid Life Cross 2 was the standout performer out of the, out of the match. And then the women's match did pretty good. Millie McKenzie defeated Session Moth Martina, Jetta, and Rio. Then Millie McKenzie pinned Rio with the Ace Crusher. Uh, Millie McKenzie now made successful defense number nine of the women's title. The second got 48, the wrestling got 41. Millie was Pretty good, 55. Session Mark Martina was pretty good as well. And we've increased our popularity in one region. Got 47 and 59 people showed up, so not too bad to start the show. Uh, to start the episode, sorry. So look how the finances are. We made we lost four and a half grand. Still got 13 in the Midlands. Yeah, not too bad to start the sh start the episode. You'll probably be looking at I'll probably be doing a bit more of the same. Um, a couple of singles matches with the men to start the show off, start the show strong. Then have a tag team match, um, and then a women's match or a heavyweight title match. We'll see. Sometimes the women might not wrestle at all, or we might put them in a, a tag team match or a multi woman match or something like that. But We'll see. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the next part of the episode. Right, I'm back. Uh, we've got our next episode of Blackout. I've already done the venue and all this stuff here. Let's have a look at the loft room incidents. Uh, Brendan White was clearly not happy with Clint Margera, apparently irritated by the morale of the team building. Uh, in the role of the morale officer, morale officer Clint Margera tried to bring Trent Seven in the sun back phase of the team building, but only succeeded in annoying him. And then there was some heat between Mark Haskins and the morale officer, Clint Margera. So Clint Margera started to get on it on a few people's nerves, which is not good. Um, yep, yeah, training, training. Joseph Connors came to you backstage with an idea of enhancing his character as automatic added to his own ideas. Same with Spike Privet. Then uh, Dan Reed was brought into wrestling school to accuse of making a mess backstage. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, man like Doris and Matthew Greg really helped create a fun and relaxed atmosphere backstage. After somehow finding a karaoke machine and starting a impromptu pre-show competition, uh, Matthew probably did his best impression of Jimmy. Now you never know. 
and Mark Haskins almost got into a fight with Brendan White after he caused some damage to the Brendan Farm and refused to pay for it. Right, where's that bit? Right then, so let's start the show. So we'll have start the show, the one on one match. And we'll have Mark Haskins versus Man Like Doris. Let's see, let's see what Man Like Doris is. I think he's pretty good on the indie scene, from what I've been told. So that's Mark Andrews, and I did Mark Haskins. Too many marks. See which one. We'll do Mark Haskins. That's the man like Doris after the match. Match we'll do Ben Rude. Um, TK Cooper. I don't think he's wrestled for a bit. We'll do TK Cooper versus Amir Jordan. Fresh match that we haven't done yet. And then we'll do Amir Jordan attacking the match of the match. Jordan attacks. Right, that's done. And then we'll do two three way tag match. And we'll do the tag champions. Got a guy costume in there as well. We'll have subculture. And I think we'll have POD as well. Go 18 minutes. Uh, that was on the line. Leave it blank, let the AI decide. Um, we'll, do, we'll do one more match. We'll do a always singles match for the heavyweight title. I think Trent's the champion, but I could be wrong. Yeah, Trent is the champion, so we'll do Trent. Versus Grado, no, not Grado, um, maybe Jody Fleisch, Kenny Williams, Joseph Connors, Drew Jacobs, that's the thing. Yeah, there we go. Eighteen minutes, part on the line, we'll leave it blank, we'll let the AI decide. Right there. So, the opening match had superb wrestling with great heat. Man like Doris defeated Mark Haskins. Got a 45 rank for the segment, 46 for the wrestling. Um, both were pretty good. They got good, great chemistry. Um, overall, Mark Haskins was the better worker out of the two. Angle afterwards did alright, got a 28. The uh, TK Cooper defeated Amir Jordan with the belly to back pile driver. Um, got 41 rank for the segment, 43 for the wrestling, and TK Cooper was uh, pretty good up to 46. And then Jordan was really off his game. And then we got 22 for the angle afterwards. Um, the tag team match, Subculture retained their titles when Mark Andrews pinned Kid Like Us 2 with a shooting star press. They've now made defense number three as the title. The segment got 56, wrestling got 54. Um, Mark Andrews was the better worker out of the two, with a, uh, out, out of everybody with a sixty-one. But obviously, Flash Morgan Webster was good. Kid Lycos two was good, and Rampage Brown was good as well. Uh, Weak link was Kid Lycos, but overall, everybody worked their ass off. Um, Jet could have done a better job putting the match together. I think maybe I'm gonna change the product and have it pulled in the ring and see if that makes a difference um, in the next episode. We'll, uh, in the next show on this episode we'll see how we get on and then the main event oh my god luke jacobs oh my god i wasn't expecting him to win the title so soon i was i just assumed trent would have won it as usual but yeah luke jacobs everybody is the 
like for ever at champion. I was kind of wanted to build him up a bit more, but oh well, it is what it is. Right, Luke Jacobs defeated Kenny Williams, Joseph Connors, and Trent Seven. And the uh, Luke Jacobs submit Joseph Connors with the figure four leg lock. Luke Jacobs wins the heavyweight title. Seven got 57, 52 for the wrestling. Trent was found out perform with 60, but Luke Jacobs did well as well. Luke, uh, Joseph Connors and Dean Ayers will make a good pairing. So I'll probably have a stable with Dean Ayers, uh, Kenny Williams, and Dean Ayers. I'll probably have Luke Jacobs as like a tweener, so he's not in this, he's not going to be in this stable. Maybe they'll go against him. So we could have these two. And then we could have Luke and Trent as the baby faces and do something like that. Not that I do storylines because I just don't see the point in this game. Um, but anyway, right, the popularity increased in one region, but 52 rating overall, 61 people turned up. So that's really good. No, that right there. Financial report, we lost five grand. We're now, minus, we're now minus 78 grand. 13 rating still. The Midlands. But yeah, I was uh, I was quite surprised by that. Uh, Luke Jacobs. I gen I generally left it because I thought I thought well, Trent's just going to win it anyway. So I just didn't see the point. I wish I had now because I'm I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to go with what the AI decides to do. So yeah, right. We've got um our next big event, instant classic, in four days. So I'll, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the Right, we're back for the uh, pay-per-view. They're not pay-per-view, the big events. Um, you know, so off the room instance. Uh, apparently the pair of Jim Hunter and Lee Hunter have been hanging out a lot lately. Of course, they have their brothers or something. Backstage gossip is Brendan White Lee Hunter have to be separated after a heat argument. Um, there's been some heat backstage with Brendan White and Morale off the front of era. Nathan Martin comes to you backstage with an angle idea it's more passion added uh, Des Robinson was brought in the rest of the book he's going to make a mess on the stage Tim Bacara has gotten a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room due to his recent attitude and decided that he'll very bad situation handled soon so I need to get rid of Tim Bacara's morale off soon uh, head trainer training drills training drills right oh, inspire Inspiration is teaching the entire locker room and tired of causing the dance. Okay, right then. So let's start the show. Um, the freeway singles to start the show. Do Trent versus Williams versus Joe. Oh, no, not Joe. Uh, Jody. Jody Polish? No, Jody Polish. There, uh, and we'll do Kenny Williams back in Trent Seven of the match. Right, so Clint Margera, um, putting a promo. So Clint, Margera, Open Challenge. But Clint Margera comes into the ring, fired up, and calls out anyone in the locker room to face him. That what? doesn't have any. What one doesn't have any? Oh no. Part one doesn't have any work involved. Oh, that's why. Mm. Right, there we go. And then we do another angle. And uh, what we'll do here is um, so I basically had a look at the NWA roster and I looked at a couple of wrestlers to bring in for, well, two wrestlers to bring in for this event. Um, so uh, that's right. Um, 
Yeah, so Vampiro is going to face Flint Margera. So there you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a one on one match. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if they let me do something a bit risque. Maybe they won't, but we'll see. Um, we'll just do hardcore. We won't do anything too barbaric. Right, so Flint Margera versus Vampiro. No, just leave it as 10 minutes. We'll go hardcore. There you go. So I have let's do it, so that's good. So that'll be that. We'll leave it blank. Let the AI decide. Uh, right. I think that's where we'll go from here. So we'll do another match now. We'll do. Lens. So we'll do uh who has it? Ricky Knight Jr. Ricky Knight Jr. hasn't wrestled for a while. We'll have him against Mike Loku. He hasn't wrestled for a bit either. 18 minutes, leave it blank. And we'll do a team title match. No, no, I'm not doing The unnamed tag team of Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams. We'll have the champions retain. Just because I don't want any cost ups after the last time. We'll have still the show. Then what we'll do now is we'll have one more match. We'll have Luke Jacobs and uh, he is going to go against EC3 from NWA. Oh, he was, but he's not able to, he's not available for the show. Ah that's annoying. Okay. Um right. <laughs> Have looked at this before I started it. Okay, we're not going to do that. We'll do EC3 versus. Who can we have in the gym? Um, Dave Mastiff, maybe. Hmm, I'm not. Slim Pippin's really in there. Rampage Brown. So I'll do EC3 versus Rampage Brown. I wanted this to be Luke Jacobs versus EC3. A bit annoying that we haven't got our champion in the uh, main event. But it is what it is. We'll have EC3 win. Open match. I advise against this. Okay. What, 15 minutes then? There we go. Right. Let's start the. No? Um. So, Trent Seven defeat Kenny Williams and Jodie Fleisch. Yeah, Trent Seven pin Kenny Williams with the Seven Stars Lariat. Got 60 rating for the segment, which is pretty good actually for us. 53 for the wrestling. Trent was uh, on form with the 66 rating. Kenny Williams did alright, and so did Jodie Fleisch. Uh, it's a good way to start the show. Angle afterwards got a 25. Oh no, I've just realised. Um, I, I can't do this match because. Williams already wrestled. We'll just do two. Um, no, we've already done more than like live costume. We'll just do live costume. It's a good way of covering it. Right. So Vampiro accepts the match, and then they had a hardcore match. I can imagine it wasn't the best, but it was a bit of fun. I enjoyed it. It was nice to be able to do a hardcore match. Um, 32 rating for the segment, 31 for the wrestling. Tim Margera stood out quite well. Tim Margera and Vampira had great chemistry. Uh, Vampira only got 17. But yeah, I only put I only got Vampira on a one appearance deal, whereas EC3, um, it's just ongoing. 
So we'll see EC3 again at some point. But yeah, Michael Oku defeated Ricky Knight Jr. with the lowdown. Got a 49 rating for that. 52 wrestling overall. Um, Michael Oku was the better worker out of the two, but it was a bit quite close. Tag team match subculture return. The tag team titles, Mark Andrews, in Kid Life Us 2 with the shooting star press. Seven got a 63, 61 for the wrestling. Um, Flash Morgan Webster. Oh no, actually, Kid Life Us 2 was the better worker out of all of them. It was nice to see. Mark Andrews was really off his game, apparently. Both tag teams have excellent chemistry, so that's good. And then the main event, EC3 defeated Rampage Brown with the submission call for purpose. Second got 41, 39 for the wrestling. Uh, Rampage Brown was way better than EC3 in the ring. Um, they don't seem to click Rampage Brown and EC3. Uh, that is what it is. Increased that popularity in one region. 43 rate for the for the show and 82 people turned up. So. Oh, not too bad. We uh, lost six grand on that show. Not good. Popularity stays the same. Right then, what I'm going to do then is um, when this finishes in a second, I will come back and we'll do one more show for this episode. Um, let me know in the comment section if you think half an hour ish, 35 minutes is a good length, or do you want longer episodes? Do you want shorter episodes? Um, just let me know. I always appreciate feedback. Right then. Oh, we won't bother. We won't bother. We'll just... There you go. We'll just forward it. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comment section. Because like I said, your opinion matters. Um, I get a lot more feedback from the TW uh, community than I do the management community. So um, just let me know whenever you like in the length of the episodes. Let me know if you don't want me to do an intro and you just want me to get into the game. Anything like that that you think will help, it won't upset me. Right. So, we have a uh, blackout episode 19 coming up now. Uh, Star Works, as always. Oh, that's all right. I wanted to skip that. That's fine. Right. Locker room incidents. Training, training. Grado was in fine form, keeping everyone great movers, hilarious road stories. Brendan White got into an argument with Kit Margera. Oh, I keep forgetting to get rid of Kit Margera. Uh, backstage clash, uh, Ashton Smith backstage clash with Kit Margera. Not too bad though. Right. Start the show. We're going to start the show with hmm, Kid Life Plus 2 versus Jody Fleisch. That would be a really cool match to watch between two really good high flyers. Okay, let's change this. Uh, and then we'll do that. Luke Jacobs is back, so that's good. Can have a main event with him, maybe him versus EC3. Maybe we'll see. Um, we'll have Millie McKenzie versus Session Mark Martina. We'll leave it blank, but the AI decide, and you know, that's probably going to be Millie. We'll have Millie fighting Session Mark Martina, so there'll be a brawl after the match. Um, do another singles match. Do uh, do Lee Hunter versus Nathan Cruz. I think Nathan Cruz has wrestled for a small while. Leave it blank. Let the AI decide. Do Nathan Cruz match in afterwards. Right. 
that uh, we've done 61 minutes we've probably got enough time to do one more match so we'll do Luke Jacobs who do we have in there I tend to put Bredo in there but I don't think it'd be a very good match Mm -hmm. do Trent mm -hmm. maybe get too early for Trent uh, Michael Oakley Uh, so 20 minutes for the title, for the right title. Uh, Luke Jacobs for Kane, open match, all out match, and then oh, still the show. Right, and that's that. Let's get on with the show. So, to start the show, we had Jody Flash defeating Kid Lightos 2. With the 720 Phoenix DDT, second got 51, wrestling got 49, both got 49 as well. It's nice to see Jody Flash quite highly rated, even though he's quite old. So that's good. So I was a big fan of Jody Flash back in the day. Um, in a match, uh, superb wrestling, great heat session, Mark Martino defeated Millie McKenzie. So Millie McKenzie's lost the title, everyone. So that's two new champions in this episode. You are spoiled. Um, 59 for the second, 55 for the wrestling. 62 from Ellie McKenzie. Um, the angle afterwards got a 34. And then we had Lee Hunter defeating Nathan Cruz for the score, uh, scoop and reverse DDT. Got a 44 for that for the segment, 45 for the wrestling. Uh, Lee Hunter was the better wrestler out of the two. And Lee Hunter and Nathan Cruz have great chemistry, so that's really good. Angle afterwards got a 27. Uh, and in the main event, Luke Jacobs. Came the title, making his first successful defense to beat Mark Loku by submission with the figure four leg lock. Um, 46 for the segment, 44 for the wrestling. Ah, uh, Luke Jacobs and Mark Loku just don't really click. That's a shame. Um, it is what it is, though. Three star popularity in one region, 47 for the show of all, and 62 people turned up. So, not too bad. We made a loss of 3,826. I swear that's slightly less every time. We've increased our popularity, which is really good. We've now got 14 in the Midlands. When we get to 15, I'll see if I can get a TV deal because I really could do with some money coming in. But yeah, nice way to end the episode. I'll just wait for this to finish, see if there's anything worth talking about in the inbox. No, no inbox items. So that is that. Um, so on that note, I'm going to call it a day. But thank you, as always, for watching. I do appreciate it. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think, one way or another, whether it's good or bad. Let me know, booking-wise, what you want me to do with Luke Jacobs. Um, if there's any wrestlers on the roster that you think deserve more of a push, let me know. Uh, and just like I said, just like the videos. Watch as much of the videos as you can, because that helps me a lot. So on that note, I'm going to leave you to it, and I'll be back on Saturday with another Fight Club Pro episode. All the best.